Hi guys and welcome to Astroneer, a new game for my channel that's available on Steam in Early Access or Pre-Alpha or whatever you want to call it. But, I think you guys are really going to like this. This game, like I say, Pre-Alpha, Early Access, but it's already amazing so I can only see good things in its future. So, we'll just jump straight into it. Obviously, as you can see, we've landed in like a space capsule thing. With this little space, it's third person, we can run around. Okay. Now... The first thing worth noting is we've got this tether. As you can see, the blue line that's joining us up to the pod. That's got like a maximum radius. See, it's cut off there. Now, what happened now is our oxygen will start to go down. It will deplete because our oxygen filters or whatever oxygen generation is in that pod. And if we use our tool, um, which is for mining and things like that, it will deplete the power level, which is these yellow bars down the back of the, uh, the backpack already see a crashed spaceship off in the distance so we'll definitely be going to investigate that at some t at some point but the first thing we're going to want to do is gather some um, some resources so we're going to have a quick look around see if there's anything within kind of running distance there's some compound over there I know that's compound because I did play the game a little bit we can get our terrain tool out with that oh resin we definitely want resin so we're going to collect this here right in fact resin's one of the first things we want we're going to need at least like three of them I think so let's collect resin. Basically, as you can see, it's like um, no power. So we're going to have to run back and replenish our power. That's kind of the first uh, the first problem is that we can't get very far without uh, without being connected to our base. But there's something we can do to solve that problem pretty quickly. There we go. We're charging back up very slowly. But it is happening. Okay, I want to kind of solve that problem pretty quickly. And I know a way to do it. And the way to do that is to get like an external power source. So, see we are charging up actually by ourselves. It's just very slow. I want to get like at least one compound. There we go. Now, we have to build modules and things to do crafting. However, we can craft some really simple things on our backpack. And one of the first things we can craft is a solar panel. Which is going to help us. Uh, there we go. And it will attach itself to our backpack there like that. It's modular but it clips on the backpack. And then that will help us actually generate more power what we can do is if we run out of oxygen we can harvest this stuff here this is actually oxygen in like I don't know solid format or whatever that we can collect and then we can drop some of that in our backpack you see now we've got that it will automatically replenish our oxygen with that stuff so we can collect the resin we need we'll finish collecting the resin we need anyway should I say right so that's like three resin and we'll get ourselves some more compound while we're out here, I think. Yeah, this stuff doesn't replenish, by the way. So, like, once you've kind of mined it out of an area, that is kind of it. Are we getting some more power from our uh, from our solar panel? It looks like we are, yeah. Got a, a decent amount of compound there. Maybe we can mine a little bit more still, though. I mean, compound is kind of one of the most useful items in the game I, I think I think I haven't played for too long just did like an hour or so okay so see that that's dropped on the ground there because we haven't got room for it on our backpack but we can still just carry it back like that we can pick it up with the mouse and we can move it around and so we can run back with it it's just uh, it takes a little bit longer sometimes I find it's easier to pick it up and drop it but there we go we can come back to here now that we've got our resin, I've collected more stuff than we need here, basically, because I didn't want to kind of muck about too much. We can extend this. So, we add resin to that, and it's going to come out a bit more. And that's going to turn into, like, two more resin we need, sorry. We can either build off here, like that now, so we can extend again. Or, what we're actually going to do is build something directly here. So, we can put our two more resin in there. And that's going to become a module that we can turn into one of several different kind of workstations so I mean ideally a printer would be good because we can start making stuff we need copper for that so I think we'll make a smelter out of compound because we've got the compound to do it with so let's let's build that okay looks like it's getting dark unfortunately and now you see that has no power so this is this is one of the things that I'm going to show you now where this game becomes We'll just put that on there. We can see how everything's kind of modular. This is where the game really excels. So, if you remember we made that little solar panel for our backpack. Okay. Check this out. Take it off the backpack. 
minimise the backpack. I'm clipping on there, and it's not doing anything at the moment because the sun's down. But when the sun comes back, that will charge up the smelter. It will. So, we've got some more compound. What we can do is the next thing we're going to be making, which is tethers. So these things we make, and we'll just make one pack of them. They take compound to make. And what we can do now is we use T to place them. Uh, so where's that compound? The compound's over in that direction. There's loads of compound over there. These have like a maximum range. Okay, so that's too far away. There we go. Now, what that's done is, if you, you are, you can see, can't you? So that's extended the range we can actually move away from our base without having to worry about running out of oxygen and also potentially power as well. What we can do is we can link these up and we can actually make, make it so that we're connected all the way. All the way over to here. So that while we mine all this stuff out, when we decide to do it, we're not going to have to worry. And we can get to the resin here as well, so that's worked out quite well. There you go. So that takes us right up to that compound without the need. I may as well, in fact, put it a bit further. Yeah, without the need to disconnect from the tether. So our oxygen's not going to be a problem anymore when mining in this area. So we can grab some more resin while we're here because that stuff is always useful. You can also... Um, there we go, power, but it will recharge. What we can do is if we hold Alt, we can bring like the environment back up as well and kind of shape it and stuff like that. But again, we need power. Hopefully the sun's going to come up soon because one, we'll get power quicker. And two, it'll help us to... Um, what am I trying to say? It'll help us to recharge that thing. What's it called? A smelter, that's the word I'm looking for. I've just noticed... These things are cool, actually. I've seen one of these before. So this is going to give us a couple of resources that we wouldn't have otherwise got. It's basically like kind of a chest that we've come across. And there's actually another one there, so we'll run straight over and get it quickly while we're here, I think. As we run up, it's going to go. Yeah, organic resources and copper. Like I say, things we wouldn't necessarily have been able to pick up otherwise. So those are pretty useful. This stuff in the ground here is actually... This is actually kind of like solid power. So we can actually collect that into our inventory. Oh, and it's dropping on the ground because we haven't got room for it. Uh, I think I can actually place these things on the side here. I know whether it will actually access them or not, I don't know. But yeah. And that thing does the same thing where we can harvest it for power, that yellow thing. And we can actually burn through that stuff now. We need to get ourselves back on the tether because uh, our oxygen is running a little bit low. So let's get back tethered. Okay, cool. And I think we'll go back and actually drop off these resources that we just picked up because uh, there's no point carrying them around with us. Not got anywhere I can really put stuff, but I'll show you how this kind of power works now. So we can pick one up and I can just chuck it anywhere on this smelter and it'll actually work and charge the smelter up for us. So you see those power levels going up. That would happen with solar power anyway, but for now it's working off that power. It looked like one kind of block of it actually did one full charge. So that worked out pretty well. Um... We might as well connect some, put some of our other stuff on the smelter just to kind of hide it out of the way for now. So we've got somewhere to put stuff. I think we can actually just drop it on the ground for now and like leave it in a pile. And then I don't think it despawns. I'm pretty sure it doesn't anyway. Uh, I hope it doesn't. But yeah, we'll just leave it there for now because it's too much to be carrying around with us. And we'll go back and harvest a bit more, a bit more compound I think. In fact, we'll harvest a bit more resin if we can. Okay, as soon as this is fully charged, I'll clip the smelter, I'll clip the smelter, I'll clip the solar panel back onto us so that when we do run out of range here, we can actually keep our power levels up. And uh, I guess we'll head off and investigate this spaceship. Hopefully there's a bit of oxygen along route. Yeah, there is some over there. Okay, right. What we can do is excavate this spaceship, I guess. And there we go, we've got some resources from underneath, so we can collect these things. Titanium, aluminium, copper's excellent because there was something that required two copper and we did already pick one of them up. And the other thing I spotted is this, which I believe, let me get it first, yeah, is unknown. Okay, so this is important, we're going to take this back. Basically, we don't know what it is, we have to do research to kind of figure it out. You know what, while I'm here, let's grab a bunch of power from this node here. Right, let's carry this thing back to our base, wherever that is. I've lost it. I got turned around. There it is. You can see the uh, thing up in the air. 
Right, let's get back to the base. Okay, so we're back, we're hooked up, we've brought this thing back with us. The next thing we're gonna we're gonna need some resin to start with actually. Uh, do we have any? Right, yeah, these that's resin, isn't it? Resin. Let's leave some of this stuff behind. Uh, we don't need the titanium on us. We don't need the hydrazine stuff on us. We do need whatever that copper we're probably going to need, I would expect. And we're going to need at least one more resin, which I don't see. So let's go and see if we can find a bit more of it. Okay, guys, so storm's coming in. We need to get back to our base quickly because... Uh, it starts off like this, a bit cloudy, but gets like super violent. So if we jump inside our pod, that will, if I can get in there, that will protect us. Also saves the game, so that's pretty cool. Okay, that storm's passing. It didn't actually get too bad, so I can start heading back out again, I think. Okay, so we've got all the resin we'll need to do this. So we're going to head back to our base now, and then what we're going to do is build out and build a secondary station. What I am going to do is do two of these. So I'm going to build out slightly further with this. So we're going to build one like that. Okay. And then rather than just turn that into a station, because what will what will happen is we'll actually run out of space around the uh, around the pod. I'm going to build this out in this direction, I think. Kind of like that. And I'm going to turn that into a station here. Right, so... We could make a printer, or we could make the research thing. We need compound for the research thing, which isn't a problem. We've got it lying around. So let's chuck a couple of those on there from the ground. Oh, yeah, we're going to need to... Oh, yeah, we can just press research. That's fine. So now we've got our research center. What we can do is research that thing that we picked up, this. So that just drops on top of there. Of course, we're going to need power, so let's get one of these. We'll take the one off the backpack, actually, because because uh, why not? We can chuck that in there. And that will charge it up, or it should charge it up fully at least. And then we'll have a full charge in there. And we can uh, we can click research. And it's, what's going to happen is, it's going to unlock something new for us to make. It'll tell us once it opens. And it, I think it's random what it chooses. And it'll just give us something. So filters. So that, I believe, is something that you can make on yourself. Don't really know what it does. There's not really a lot of stuff in the game right now that says filters do this but I think it's if there's like poisonous gas around and stuff like that it will help you looks like we've got enough well, I say we've got enough resin do you know what? I think we might actually be out again because yeah it looks like we might be out but we can definitely build out one more like that have we not got any more lying around was that literally all the resin we've got I'm going to have to go and farm a little bit more resin and come straight back to you just found another cave just over here. Even better, even closer to our base. That's excellent. And a little bit more resin. Enough to get us through what we need to do now anyway. So we'll just get the bare minimum for now and get back. Oxygen's low, but we'll be back in just a second, so that's not a problem. And here, here we shall build a printer, I think. What do we need for vehicle base aluminium? Research, smelter printer let's build a printer we've got the stuff we've got the materials okay now the printer what we can do is I mean it's got no power so again we're gonna need to get some power into the thing we could just attach our solar panel rather than waste any more of our uh, collected power very slowly charging the Sun's going down hopefully we'll get a full charge before it goes away completely okay looks like that has ground to a halt unfortunately but we've got a bit of power so we can just chuck one of our solid fuel things on there not an issue and it'll just use a little bit of it again it'll to full charge okay cool now we've got that we can build a few different things so we've got a solar panel and it's a full size one rather than a mini one that goes on you storage which is interesting because we'll have somewhere to actually put our stuff wind turbine batteries we haven't got what we need for that a generator a seat that's for a vehicle so we've got all these cool things i think for now we'll actually just build a Storage. We can just drop our stuff in there and build ourselves a storage unit. Because I think that will be extremely useful just for keeping our stuff more organised. Definitely. It looks like it's sucked up the rest of that power. Oh, right, okay, because it's shared it out and it's been charging the researcher back up. Okay, that's interesting that it did that. So, for now, we can start kind of clipping some of our stuff onto this, uh, onto this storage unit here. 
So we put our aluminium on there. A bit more hydrazine. I think we had two aluminium. Where did the other one go? And there's more stuff here. Look at that. Titanium. More aluminium. More power. There we go. And that stuff all stores on there. And the cool thing about that is you can lift it up. You can clip it onto things like that. It folds out nicely. I mean, look how how well this game is made. The fact that it just drops onto this thing all modular and everything. Just like that. It's really cool. But yeah, we can pick it up and carry it around. We can clip it to vehicles and all sorts. Overall, it's just a cool thing to have. Guys, I think we're going to call that an end to the first episode. Probably going to release the next one very soon because I'm really enjoying playing this game. And I think you guys would really enjoy it too. If you do like this game and you are enjoying the series, please do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.